guys, welcome to another segment provided by Technical Option Traders Inc. Uh, so I'm going to start talking about the broad markets today. Um, so today I'm going to talk about S&P 500 uh, and I'm just going to remove all my drawings so we can just see this picture very clearly here. If we look at the S&P since, uh, this is May, since May it's kind of really been flat, right? So it hasn't really done anything, it's just kind of been in a zone here. Right, S and P is kind of just like you know on its own, trying to figure out what to do, and uh, not really much is going on here, right? So what I'm interested in is to see what happens. Do we push off here? Does the volume shelf hold and go up? Uh, it, it held uh, for 13 uh, support here, which is great, but I'm not confident in this move, right? So you see how we had a sell off here previously back in May, two day of up move and then back down again, right? So I'm interested to see if we can catch all-time highs and keep going higher, or do we get something similar to what happened in May? Now, the triple Qs, on the other hand, Qs, I feel like, are healthier um, than the S&P 500. Now, a lot of people are going to disagree with me and say, oh, how can the Qs do better than the S&P? Well, look at this, right? Qs have had a 10% or even like an 11% correction already. And they've had multiple 8% pullbacks in this year. Okay, so we're in 2021 and SP is showing no signs of that. And uh, there's a way that you can do ratio charts uh, where you can compare two indexes. I'm not going to get into that and see which one is outperforming the other. Right now, the Qs are outperforming the SP 500. And if we look at this chart alone, uh, you know, Qs are on, well on their way here after breaking all-time highs right about here, right? Which was the break of 444, sorry, 342, and uh, we got above to this level, 340 is the next level. They're healthy right now, uh, strong uptrend, strong momentum going on here, okay? So same thing, if we look at IWM, IWM also looks strong, right? So if we look at IWM's uh, recent pullback, IWM had a, you know, you could say a pullback of, 5.29 percent okay so like i said this target level 230 had to hold and this was a bull flag the bull flag failed right so since it's a fail of a bull flag we went down and tested the previous support that was set back in september of 2020 right tested a trend line and this uh and as you guys can see here you know tested a trend line and bounced nicely from it right this support 220 support is a big support for uh, IWM see if that holds if this trend line breaks but right now we're all on our way back up to the 230 level to see if we can get pushed past that if not you know we can see a downward momentum as you can see uh, most uh, markets are like most you know indexes are like this they're kind of flat right now except for the Qs uh, let's look at the Dow Jones the Dow Jones also same thing as we can see here Flat overall broke the lower uh, trend line, so broke the major short short term trend line here in the blue, then the long term trend line, which is since uh, April of 2020, broke that, and now it's hanging here. It, it's below it. It's not above it. So, and uh, you have the eight crossing the 21, which is crossing the 50 uh, SMA. So, which is also just a little bit concerning to me, because if the Dow Jones goes down the market may come down with it um, so this is interesting to watch keep an eye on this uh level here at a 330 or 331 level here on the dow jones if this support breaks we can have uh, room to fall all the way down to 320 um, so keep an eye on that uh, the other one i want to talk about is vxx vix vix uh, you know it did go up when the market came down so now it's leveled off here which is okay um, so the vix is doing okay as well so overall, um, SPY uh, doing okay, but not the greatest. We want to see above 425 with strength and hold that level to push higher. Um, and the Qs are doing well. IWM is on their way. Um, so Dow Jones will be interesting to watch. So that's the market recap for today. I hope you guys found this informative. You guys have a great day.